What's up, DJ Tech Tools? Saturday morning, got my morning coffee. Mm. And today, we are going to take it back old school. You guys might remember four or five years ago when I first started DJ Tech Tools. I used to always make videos like this in my home studio with nothing but the iSight camera and some tractor in the background. And today, I'm gonna take it back. We're gonna do it old school, and we're gonna show you something super powerful in a super simple way. So basically, if we go here into the preferences window and you click through, you're gonna see what a lot of people see, a million different options. And you might be wondering, well, you know what? This is way, way too many options. I have no idea what I should actually care about, what I should actually pay attention to. So today I'm gonna show you five Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Don't hold me to it, but basically five preferences you need to know about inside of the tractor preferences. Let's jump right in, go straight to the top. This is the audio setup pane. This is a preference you need to know about, you need to understand. It's the latency. What is latency? It's the distance between when you press a button and when you hear the sound. So if I increase this latency, you can actually see and tell that the distance between when I pressed that button and when we heard that sound was very big. You want to bring that down. So here's the general rule of thumb. If you're doing a lot of mashing, you're doing a lot of crabbing, then you want to have this latency hopefully underneath 10 milliseconds. Generally speaking, people say, especially if you're a drummer, you can start to really feel and hear more than 10 milliseconds. So your goal should be under 10. If you're just doing regular DJing, I really don't want to see this anything above 15 to 20. So ideally somewhere in this range. Latency, something you want to know about. All right, next up, we've got the loading options. A couple big ones right here. Few things you should know. Loading only into stop deck, super, super important. Let's say I've got a deck playing, playing a track, and this is not checked. I accidentally do this. Whoa, epic dance floor breakdown, and you get fired. So make sure you have this checked so that you never accidentally stop a deck by putting a track into it. Next, this is a really big one show, somebody actually showed me the other day. No, I don't know everything about Tractor. I wish I did. Fair amount, but not totally everything. You do not want this checked. Stop playback at end of track. Check it out. This track naturally is gonna end right about here. And if we actually let the playback end at the very end of a track, what is it gonna do? It's gonna stop because that's the mp3 now if we have this thing unchecked and a song runs out on you you can use the move command so the mp3 is over the song's over but tractor's still playing the song and you can skip back in time in time and get right back into the song so if for some reason a song ends which i got to tell you it often does and you have this unchecked, you can go backwards and keep the song playing. Pretty cool. All right, next, you definitely want this checked. Initially, Q to load marker. If you don't know what a load marker is, you need to know. I'm not gonna cover it in this video, maybe in another one, but you want this checked. You also want activate fade in and fade out markers checked. Again, if you don't know what they are, you're out of luck. You should learn in another video. Here's two ones that you do not want checked. Reset all deck controls when loading a deck and reset all mixer controls. For sure, you don't want this to happen. You want those mixer controls to be absolute regardless of when you're loading a track in or out. You don't want a new track to suddenly replace your EQ settings inside of Tractor even though your hardware EQ settings are different. So leave these unchecked. All right, here's a really big one for those of you who are in Tractor 2.4 or above, you're gonna see that you have the option to define how sync works. You have either tempo sync or beat sync. What's the difference between the two? I'll show you really quickly. If we load up two tracks, 
and we just sync these together. Go ahead and make sure this is the master. I'm gonna sync this one to it. Now, with beat sync on, if I try intentionally to get those two songs out of sync, Tractor is going to keep them super, super locked. That includes cue point jumps, that includes beat jumps. It's basically going to try and lock everything together as long as you have sync enabled. With tempo sync, when you hit sync, it's only going to sync the tempo, and after that, the phase is up to you. So for example, again, using the same one, this guy's a master. So if I wanna adjust the phase here and maybe perfect this mix, I can do it. And even though sync is enabled, Tractor's gonna let me do it. So that's a super important uh, preference that you need to know about because it's really going to change the way your software behaves. All right, there's so many preferences in here. In reality, I need to just go over the whole damn window, but that would make this video five days long. So here's one more that's really important for you to know. Right here, set auto gain when loading track. You'll notice that if I adjust this gain here and I load this track into that deck, and this one is playing, watch what's gonna happen. It automatically adjusted that gain. I don't know if you saw that, do it again. Watch that gain knob, boom, adjusted. When Tractor analyzes a song, it figures out basically what the BPM is. It draws this nice pretty waveform right here so you can see what's going on with your song. And last but not least, it figure out, figures out how loud it is. So when you load a new song and you have this set, it's gonna automatically adjust the gain so the two songs are of an equal volume. Some people like it, some people don't. You should know what it is so you can choose for yourself. Last but not least, Tractor's got this amazing limiter on the master bus. Basically, if you're really, really cranking the gain, and let's do this here. You can already hear it. It's distorting. Oh, it sounds terrible. Enable that limiter. Tractor's just gonna squish that volume right down and make it sound really, really good. All right, so there you go. Quick and dirty, old school style. Using the iSight Cam, my personal five, more or less, tractor preferences you have to know about. For more about digital DJing, Tractor, Serato, Ableton, whatever you like to use, visit us on the web djtechtools.com.